All right, I think we have everything going. Um, I have a resistor here to act as a load. I have my device set up with a heat sink on it. I have a fan going, making a ton of noise to help dissipate some of the heat. I have my thermal imager. I have a battery source, which is uh, mostly charged, I think. And I think we're ready to connect, and hopefully we won't have anything blow up. So let's let's do that. All right. So here we go. 19 volts, and already the. Let's get rid of this. That's heating up. The uh, circuit board isn't really getting hot at this moment. But we'll keep an eye on this. We're looking for a voltage drop down to 17 volts and hopefully this uh, resistor will handle it. It's uh, 300 watts. One thing I forgot to do was hook up an amp meter. So we're drawing about 6 amps. Hopefully we can keep it. We're down to 19 volts. Uh, resistor is at 230 degrees Fahrenheit. The MOSFET's not even hardly getting warm. That's interesting. I, I tested this the other day with a load from a Black & Decker can, uh, dust buster and that really heated up. So it seems to matter if it's a resistive or an inductive load. I gotta keep an eye on this battery. And the wires, everything seems to look good. Nothing's really overheating. Doesn't even feel warm. We are 0.7 volts away from a shutdown. Uh, I set the, the uh, shutdown voltage to about 17.1 volts. So what we want to see is when it hits 17.1 volts it should shut off but it should not come back on if the voltage uh, bounces back. The MOSFET's only showing around 88-90 volts. 
or uh, 90 degrees. 18.6 Battery connections are still reasonably cool Resistor is holding steady. It's under 207 degrees. I'm going to pause this and let the battery cool down. Or, I'm sorry, let the resistor cool down. We'll start it up here in a, again in a few minutes. Alright, we are back. The Resistor is now below 110 degrees, and I'm gonna hook it up. I have not recharged the battery or anything, so we're gonna hook it up. We have 18.7 volts and dropping. Six point three six or thereabouts amps. Voltage is dropping fast. This battery is a second hand, or is an old battery. I think it's from 2016. Uh, one of my brothers found a tool that fell off the back of a truck or something like that. And uh, eventually they gave it to me and I've since got a, a battery charger and we're just using it because I don't care about this battery not that I think anything we're going to do is going to really damage it because it did come off of a grinder alright we are at 177 degrees, 180, 6.2 amps, alright we're getting down to one volt away from shutdown. Six point one amps. Two hundred and twenty five degrees. Six amps. Six amps, two hundred and forty degrees. We are about five volts away from shutdown. Two hundred and forty degrees. MOSFET is at eighty six degrees. Fahrenheit. Two hundred and sixty degrees on the resistor, six amps draw. 
approximately 0.3 volts to go. Battery shows no abnormal heating. Wires are fine. MOSFET 85 degrees. Resistor 270. Amp draw 5.9. That glitch was my, was me. Okay, shut down imminent. Resistor holding steady, 276 degrees. Amp draw, 5.89. And my amp meter is telling me it's going to shut off, but I don't want to touch it. 5.8 amps. 84 volts on the MOSFET. Two hundred eighty volts on the resistor, or two hundred eighty degrees. This was supposed to have shut off. Ah, that's why. Output voltage and input voltage don't match. Interesting. So, probably it'll say 16.8 volts when it shuts off, or thereabouts. Five point five amps. Two hundred eighty-three degrees. There it went. And we have 17.71 volts. Let's see if it recovers enough to turn on. Its uh, turn on voltage would be about 18.2 volts. Well, I think that was a successful test. Um, it uh, ran until it got to the set voltage, and then the battery is still attempting to recover. But I don't think it's going to recover enough to turn back on. 17.86 volts is just under the 18 volts. So, 
I think that's it for this one. Later.